I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I'm not really sure. I wish 290 had a name other than 290. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my November Ipsy bag here for you today. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag. I've tried out the things inside, so I'll be able to give you some little mini reviews and just my thoughts and opinions on these products. So let's jump into it. Okay, so this is what the bag looks like this time. It's kind of like a galaxy sort of a theme. Kind of like a canvasy, slick canvas sort of um, material. It's not my favorite bag that we've gotten, but I do like the like color scheme of it with like the pinks and purples and teals and blues. That's really pretty. Um, and then the card, it says the stars are lining. Your November glam bag is a universe of brilliant beauties. Twinkle, twinkle, darling, it's time to light up the sky. So that's cute. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so first I got a hair product. This is the Cool Way Stronghold Spray. And it says spray on wet hair and blow dry to style or spray on dry hair to hold your style in place all day long. So today I didn't wash my hair. I used dry shampoo. Um, and sometimes I will spray my hair with hairspray along the way as I'm curling. So that's what I did today. And I use this in certain sections, not all over my head. Um, it's a like a pump sort of a, it's a non aerosol um, hairspray, which is, you know, that's a good thing. But I think that they're harder to use. Like you just get such concentrated product. So I prefer like an aerosol spray, but I mean, it did seem like it held nicely. It smells good. It smells like Smarties. Yeah, just like Smarties to me. So it smells nice, it smells like candy and seemed to work nicely. And then I got a little small size of the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is in light medium. I've used this before, I already own the full size. So this is gonna be really nice for either traveling or putting in my freelance kit uh, because I do like this. So I used it on my brows today, just kind of like set them. Um, I don't like to use these kind of products by themselves for me personally, just because, um, I don't know, I like to kind of like fill in my brows a little bit more purposefully, whereas this just kind of like sets the hairs that I have in place, whereas I wanna do a little bit more filling in. So I like to use this as a second step or a third step to my brow routine. So anyway, I do really like this product though. I think it holds the brows in place really nicely and light medium is a good color. I think it works well for my blonde hair. I was really excited to see this. I got a little sample size of the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. So I've tried this before um, when I bought the Double Exposure Palette. This came with it. Well, I didn't end up liking that palette, so I returned it and returned the mascara, obviously, that came with it, with that palette. So I loved the mascara, and then I didn't have it anymore after that. So I was really excited to see this in my bag. I didn't use it today because I have a bunch of mascaras open and I don't wanna open it and you know it go bad more quickly. So I will use this. I'm really excited about it and I love this mascara. It really does give great volume, great length. It just gives you vavoom lashes. It's impressive and it really doesn't smudge badly on me at all. Like I think just a tiny, tiny little bit, which for me, you guys know, is really good. So if something smudges just a little bit, it'll probably be fine on all of you. So I love this mascara so much. Then I got this little thing from Model Co. This is the Highlighting Trio Champagne, Peach, Bellini, and Bronze. So this is what the outside box looks like. And the product inside, I used this today. Um, it's just kind of like a little, you know, almost looks like a little eyeshadow palette, except it's face products. It looks kind of gross because I used it today. So I did like a little mix of these two using my e.l.f. small stipple brush and put them on my cheekbones. And I actually really like it a lot. Now this is a cream palette. So all of these products in here are cream, which when I first opened it, I was kind of like, oh, because I'm just not quite as big of a fan of cream products because I have more kind of combination oily skin. But I actually really like this. Like after I used it, these are really pretty and I mean you can use this kind of like peach bellini color as a blush or you can do like I did and mix them together and make kind of like a peachy pinky um, highlight. Really, really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm not really sure, but I like it. I do really like it. I think I'll use it probably more for layering like underneath a powder highlight. Um, 
But yeah, they performed nicely. They blended into the skin nicely and the e.l.f. small stipple brush worked just fine to apply them. And then lastly, I got an eyeshadow. This is from the brand Luxie. It says, be your own kind of beautiful. It says, paraben free, cruelty free, dermatologist tested. So really pretty outside packaging. Um, and then this is in the color number 290. And I do have this on my eyes today, kind of in my crease. Um, it's just like a really pretty kind of like plummy, burgundy, purpley color. It's really, really pretty. And this actually worked really nicely. I mean, it blended really nicely. It was very pigmented. So I like this. Nice texture. This is really nice eyeshadow. So I was excited about this. Yeah, 290. 290 is a pretty color. I wish 290 had a name other than 290, but... <laughs> It's still a pretty color and it performs nicely. We'll see how it wears. I'm sure it'll wear nicely. Um, yeah, I have it in conjunction with a bunch of other things too. But in my crease, this is mostly what you're seeing, like deepening up my crease, I use this. So really good eyeshadow. I like it a lot. All right guys, so that is everything that I got in my Ipsy bag this month. So as far as what I think about it, I think that it was a really good month. I really enjoy everything that's in there. There's nothing in there that I don't like. Um, I think I like last month's bag better. Well, I know I definitely do because that, that one was like awesome. So many good things in that month. Um, and maybe even the month before, but I don't remember what was in the month before. So I can't really say if I liked it better than this one. But I remember I liked that one and I like this one. So we'll just say that it's a tie. So I think that Ipsy has been really good the last several months. I've really, really been looking forward to it and enjoying it every time. So if you want to sign up for Ipsy, it's $10 a month and I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your bag and what your favorite thing was. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!